We're back in Germany, where our journey started almost a year ago. For a full year, we followed Werderstadt's innovation proceed. And in this episode, we'll visit fields in both Germany and Sweden to see the results and what return proceed truly will bring to farmers. In the last episode, we visited Poland and Sweden to see how our proceed fields have done during the winter. We got some interesting data from our Polish field trials, and we got to see the real difference in plant biomass and root development when comparing a plant seeded with ProSeed to one seeded with a conventional seed drill. Today, we're meeting up with Maria Cornelius, agronomist and global marketing director at Werderstadt, in the fields at one of our German test farms. So here we're back in the ProSeed trials and I'm just standing in front of the 100 seeds per square meter blocks. On the left hand side it's ProSeed and on the right hand side it's the standard drill. And when I just look over them I can already see a difference as the ProSeed block is pretty even in plant growth, like very evenly high, while on the standard drills you can see that the plants are not exactly the same height always. I went on the blocks and picked some crops and uh, we have about seven to nine tillers in the proceed plants and you can see they are in like AC 51 or so so the ears just started to come out here and then I also went into the standard crop block I also picked three plants we have some very nice good looking big crops also some mid-sized crops as well as some pretty small ones compared to the other ones. So now we are in the trial block where we seeded 60 seeds per square meter. This is hybrid wheat. And while seeding, we also placed 30 kilo per hectare DAP fertilizer rhythm. And you can see those plants are quite a bit bigger than the ones in the other plots. Also further developed, you can see the ears are completely out here pretty even in the top and we have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine really promising ears here. Looking good. It's August and we're back in Germany for harvest. The summer has been very dry in general, but just before harvest, the rain started to fall, which caused delays. During 2023, we've compared ProSeed to a conventional seed drill at the German test farms. In general, ProSeed has produced a higher yield than the conventional seed drill throughout the test. From the trial, we can see the strength that ProSeed has shown throughout the full crop year to produce a high yielding crop at drastically lower seed rates. ProSeed is able to deliver the same or even higher yields despite cutting the seed rate by half. This is especially noticeable at 125 seeds per square meter, where ProSeed truly shines at the German field trials. Back in Sweden, it's also time for harvest. Here we are in the fields close to the Wedestad farm where we've seeded peas and wheat with ProSeed. We're eager to start harvesting together with our testing team and Nina Pettersen is following the outcome. We had a chance to meet up with Nina to talk about what we've learned this challenging season. This season we have challenged the concept even more by reducing the seed rate significantly. The tests were even more challenging by the weather conditions during the season. Despite these challenges, we see high and stable yields, and we note that the cereals had maintained good quality. We have even and high protein contents that for sure will pay off this season. We have learned a lot during the past three years, and especially during this last year when we really challenged the concept. What we have learned in field has gone straight into concept development and we really pushed the limits in terms of precision planting, minimizing inputs and maintaining a high and stable harvest. The ProSeed concept development team has found a way to lower the input of seeds while ensuring a more even germination and crop growth. 
During the year, the even crop stand has allowed the farmers to optimise how and when to handle their crop treatments. At harvest, Proceed delivered a strong harvest. This makes the machine interesting for many farmers. Once again, we meet up with Oscar Carlson, head of the concept development team for Proceed. Proceed is the machine with extra everything and a high technology level. After our Proceed files over several years in several different countries, soils and conditions, we truly believe that the Proceed is an investment that will increase the yield potential at low seed rates and thereby lead to a better profit for the farmer. We are now continuing our journey with Proceed, showing it on Agritechnica in November and building additional machines for the coming spring season. These will be distributed on our markets for demo and to continue prove the machine and our belief in the Proceed concept. The first edition of Proceed, named Proceed V, will go into cereal production in the beginning of 2025. The first machine deliveries are scheduled for spring seeding the same year. For a full year, we followed Proceed. From seeding and analyzing the early emergence in Germany and Sweden last autumn, in the winter months, we got a deeper look into the machine concept Proceed, meeting some of the people working with developing it. And in the last two episodes, we followed the yield building at our test farms in Germany, Sweden and Poland, where we've analysed the outcome and shown what advantages Proceed will bring to farmers all over the world in the years to come. Thank you for following us on this journey. We look forward to bringing the machine to all of you in the coming years.